Hey friends, today I'm doing an unboxing review of the Mr. Coffee coffee pot here. So I picked this one up for I think about 19 bucks. Um, other one we had a bun, but the coffee it only made like eight cups. So we need something a little more. That's why we got this coffee maker. So I'm not a big huge coffee like connoisseur, but I do enjoy a cup of coffee now and then, and it's nice when people come over. So uh, we got this one. So it makes 12 cups of coffee. So that was important. All right. So we have some instructions and nice little foam padding on each side here. Let's see if we can't haul that out of there. Come on, little fella. Well, hmm. Come on. Needs a little bit of a coke a little bit of coaxing, I guess. Doesn't want to come out of there. Okay. Perhaps I just rip off this padding. And we'll get it. I believe I had one of these at work before. I don't remember the packaging being quite this sturdy. All right. There's that. They definitely did a good job on the packaging. Move that off to the side here. Nothing else in there but more foam. Okay, so here's the coffee pot. Let's see. Move this plastic bag. Actually, take the carafe out. Then remove the plastic bag if I can. Remember, don't leave these bags around where small children can choke on them. I want to discard them immediately. Okay, so the cord is tucked away right here. It has a nice little cord storage. Take this film off the top. So it uh, has a fl flip up top. There's your water reservoir. Holds 12 cups. Um, the spout moves off to the side. It's got a removable um, filter holder. So you can just take that out and dump it. It also has, well, I guess I'll just show you on the bottom of this here, a uh, drip release. Or uh, So if you want to grab a cup of coffee and it's not brewing yet, um, when you put the carafe in, this pushes up so the uh, brew can go through. And when it's down, you take out your pot, it'll stop it, and it'll... Give you a little time to pour your coffee and stick the craft back in there. So that's that. That is nice. Okay, I'd have to say the packaging on this is very well done. Somebody did some uh, research to make sure that it wasn't going to get broken. So there it is, my friends. Uh, 12 cup Mr. Coffee uh, coffee pot and uh, maker. So it's not unelegant. I think it looks pretty nice. It'll be a nice addition to the uh, counter space. And I'm going to brew some coffee, get this cleaned up, show you how it works, and we'll be back with the review. All right, so I washed out the carafe. I washed out the uh, filter holder. Uh, so we got 12 cups of water here. I'm going to pour this in. All right, the first thing kind of jumping out at me is it's pouring good. Sometimes you get a coffee carafe and it's just spilling water everywhere. That's not happening, so that's good. All right, we'll take our little filter here. Put that in there. Get this 
start, all they have to do is push the button. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on the process here. I'll start a timer, 10 minutes. So immediately, the coffee's brewing. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't look bad. It has a nice kind of look to it. It'll match almost any kitchen. It matches mine pretty good. So I washed it out already. And I'll basically uh, hot soapy water, rinse out, wash this out, and the uh, filter holder. Clean it, rinse it out. Run uh, one 12 ounces, 12 ounces. <laughs> Run 12 cups of water through it and dump that and then you're good to go. So that's what I did. All right, let's go ahead and I'll wait a minute here. No sense in watching the whole thing. It might take a little while, but I started it. We're in, uh, one minute in and we'll come back. Okay, we're just uh, three minutes in about four cups. So what I want to show you is that if you can't wait for it to finish, Go ahead and pull that out. It drips a little bit. Pour yourself some more coffee. Or some coffee. And put that back on the plate and you're ready to go. Um, I recommend, you know, after it's done brewing, just wipe off your coffee pot with some, or the hot plate with some hot soapy water. Or some. Just probably warm water and on a rag would be good too. So, so that worked fine. Only a little bit spilled as is expected, but uh, there's our coffee so far. Let's go ahead and uh, finish up the brew here. So another thing I forgot to mention, it has the uh, see-through sides and that's on both sides. So you can see your uh, water level. So sometimes you pour some in there. You're not sure how much you put in. This way you can tell. So another nice little feature there. And we're about five minutes and 30 seconds in. It's about halfway there, so. All right, so we just hit the 10 minute mark and just about wrapping it up. Let's see here. Whoo, watch out for steam, that's hot. Uh, taste of the coffee, it's good. Puts out a nice hot cup of coffee, that's for sure. Um, so that's 10 minutes in. We had we poured some coffee here, so we're about 95% away. So on average, probably 12 cups of coffee. It's gonna run you looks like about a minute per cup. So not bad. And I like that it holds uh, 12 cups of coffee. That's for sure. Oh, right, there we have it. Uh, yep, it's about a minute per cup to brew. Um, that's what it does. Makes coffee a nice hot cup of coffee. I like the design, it looks good. I like that all you have to do is hit one button. Sometimes you got things that are so complicated. You gotta hit this and do that and do all that, but this isn't like that. It's nice and simple, simple design. Uh, let's go to the review. All oh, right, final thoughts, uh, review on the Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot. Well, it is simple. I like the design. It's easy to clean. The carafe pours wonderfully. Um, I hate it when you get a carafe, and that's kind of why we got rid of the bun one. We are pouring. It would spill all over. Um, you tried to wash it. It had a plastic around the top. Water would get trapped in there. This doesn't happen with this one. Um, does brew a little slower, but about a minute per cup, but that's not bad. You know, just time your coffee drinking accordingly. I like that there's only one button to push. The cord's about 18 to 20 inches long. It's not bad. Uh, it says it has a shortened cord, so it you don't doesn't fall off the counter or something get tangled in or something. Um, 
it has cord storage in the back so the whole entire cord plus the plug can all fit in there so you can tuck it away nicely if you want to that's kind of a bonus so as far as uh, doing what it does it does a good job so I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee I'm gonna have a great day out there and uh, thanks for watching this review I, uh, I think it's an amazing coffee pot thanks for watching